Hey guys, this is Michael, aka Epsilon Minus. I'm here for round two of Classic League, up against Fishy Fellow with his White Weenie deck. And, uh, we are on the draw. This is actually a pretty decent hand, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Hopefully, he does not have a Leon and Arbiter, <laughs> because that would be very bad. But. Okay, that's not great either, but not much I can do about it. Alright, so I think we're going to start by fetching a basic so we can play around Wasteland, and then we'll play Noble Hire. Mother of Runes is going to be a problem though, and luckily we played that basic force because he did have a wasteland. Alright, Talia, that's not too terrible yet. So, eight days, which is not very useful right now. Hmm. So, let's see, what would be the best play here? I think I might want to Wasteland his Wasteland and then play a Tropical Island. I don't know, that doesn't seem very good. If I had the Trigon on my hand, I'd definitely play that. I also have this Green Sun Zenith. But I don't know what I'd really want a Zenith for, because his mom's out, so that's going to limit me quite a bit. I think I'm definitely going to play a Pride Mage, though, so let's start with that. And I'm going to Wasteland his Wasteland. I have a second one here in case I need to use it on something, but I want to protect this tropical island. Looks like he's saying, okay, he's playing a Chromox. Alright, that was actually a pretty solid turn for us. Okay, so... I'm just gonna play out this wasteland. And... We're just going to ship the turn. And then hopefully we'll be able to green sun for a trigon. True Believer's fine. Huh. 
Actually, I forgot that Talia's out. We're not going to be able to get the Trigon next turn, unfortunately, unless we draw something. Hmm. It definitely complicates things. Uh. So let's start off by doing this. Just have to shoot the turn again. <clears throat> Those mother runes are definitely doing some work for him. Luckily, he doesn't have a super quick clock. So I feel like if I can get one more uh, land, I'll be in good shape. Is that banisher priest? have anything at two that's really terribly relevant. Between Tali and Mother, he's definitely got me in a bind. I think I would probably have this sealed up right now if it wasn't for that. Definitely not looking promising right now. Kataki. Doesn't really do anything against me. There you are. And I can actually play you. I think it might be a little too late, but, <laughs> you know.
that Trigon was just the day of light. Alright, I think we're gonna go on to game two. So, I don't have a whole lot in my sideboard. I'm definitely bringing in this Trigon. And I'll probably be taking out a Force of Will since it's, since he's playing Cavern, so it's not terribly effective. I think I'm probably going to keep everything else as is. And I'm going to pause until game two starts. Alright, game two has started. I'm definitely going first. And this is a pretty solid hand, so we're going to keep I wish I had a little bit more wasteland protection, but... Only so much you can do about that. <clears throat> the best thing is it has two paths, so... That will definitely help me against a mother of runes. One thing that would be less than ideal would be an Arbiter, though. True Believer, that's fine. It's basically just a vanilla dude against me. Alright, so... I think... I'll put the strand and then the pride mage. That's fine. Get in there for two with this hierarch. Vanisher Priest, that's actually okay. Imagine I'll probably take Pride Mage, but I'm fine with that. Oh, Hierarch, okay. Kind of interesting that he chose not to attack there. So, I think we're going to waste this Caracas right off the bat. Play another 
Pride Mage. So he's going to draw some cards with Hussar, which is honestly okay with me. Alright, that's definitely getting path. Try to play knight on the next turn. Kind of interesting that he decided to tap Talia there. I feel like that's the better offensive and defensive card since he has first strike. Slows my clock down a little bit, but it's not too bad. Surprised I didn't get in there with the true believer. Double block, but I don't think that'd be a very good trade for him, so I'm gonna go in and try to get the third damage. I think I'm in pretty good position for this game. I can't think of too much that... I mean, a Banisher Priest would be less than ideal, as would a Mother of Runes. Looks like he's thinking for a bit. Think I'm gonna. Oh, okay, here we go. He's casting a Chrome Mox. For a Sky Hussar. I wonder if he's planning on casting one from his hand. Yeah. Alright. I'm going 
gonna get in there with night. Unfortunate thing is he's just kind of got the board clocked up. One thing it'd be nice to get right here would be a trigon. Ugh, okay, that's bad. Have been nice a turn ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh boy. So this is definitely a less than ideal position to be in. I think the first thing I'm going to do is bounce that. Lane Mage. I think I'm gonna name Sky Hussar here just because it lets him untap all his guys and it has flying. Which is something that I'll have difficulty dealing with. Mother's not active yet, so he's gonna have to just chomp or something. to my Caracas. This plane. Banisher Priest here, it just seems like the best thing to go for. I'm wondering if I should go in with these three guys and at least force them to chump block with something. I think that's the best.
that's not good. Alright, but I can deal with it. So, I'm thinking that this is not a very good position to be in. This is the type of deck that you just don't want to get stuck in the long game against. Yeah. Alright. That's pretty much it. Um, I think you can probably just kill me this turn. So... I'm just going to good game it, and uh, yeah, somewhat unfortunate to lose that one, but it's definitely not the type of deck I was built to beat, so that's what happens sometimes when you build a metagame deck, and I'll see you guys in round three. Thanks for watching.